I need a hot card. Yo! What's going on, JR Business? Welcome back to a new video. I'm here with my good friend, Kieran O'Brien, and as you guys can see from the title, boy, this is a video that I never thought I'd be making, but we are breaking a box, a oh, $500 yeah. box of sports cards. Kieran, how did we get to this day? Why are we doing this? What the heck happened? Yeah, so a couple weeks back, um, Casey, you guys know Casey and Jeffrey and I went to Los Angeles and we went to our friend Dan Fleischman's shop called Cards and Coffee in Hollywood. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you guys have been seeing online Gary Vaynerchuk and Logan Paul talking about cards, whether it's Pokemon mm -hmm. cards or sports cards, they've been absolutely blowing up lately. The market's gone crazy. Yeah. And so we figured we would go out and buy a box and open it up for you guys and put it to the test. For a while there, these sports cards, like old baseball cards from the 80s and 90s, were worthless. Like, I have thousands of them that I got for like pennies. Starting 2018, 18, I think he said, yeah. Panini has exclusive rights to the NBA. There could be crazy cards hiding in here. So basically, it's gambling, pretty much. Like, this box could be worth 100, 200 bucks or it could be worth thousands of dollars, or you could break even. Right. We're about so, to find out. what is this box? So at the card shop, our friend Sean Kelly was there, and he told us, he's like, guys, I'm going hardcore in the in the cards. I just bought 30 of these Mosaic Prism um, sealed boxes, and I'm like, holy crap, like, because they're 500 bucks a piece. And he gave me a good deal on this one. I bought it from him, and I yeah. hope it's not worth 50 bucks when we open it. And everybody. what's, so what's in here? It's 12 packs and 15 cards per pack? Yeah, so that's yeah. A 180 cards. So we have 180 chances to get that golden sign LeBron worth tens of thousands of dollars. Let's I do have it. faith. Do it. Okay, here Break we go. Open. Are you sure, bro? This could go up Let's in go. value as a sealed box. Let's go. Okay, I just broke the seal. This is all legit. Totally not tampered with, nothing. This is, go. There All she right. is. Why don't you do Ooh. the first pack on okay. your own and we'll see what goes down. Okay, so they say to like, you know, open them and they put the pinks last because you can get some real winners. You have three like bonus pink cards in here. So we'll do those last. All right, we'll open these first two just to show you what's up. Now, apologize for our lack of knowledge in the NBA. This is not, Kieran and I are not, Oh gosh, you can't bend them. You gotta be really careful. I should have brought my gloves, but oh well, we'll just, just be. hold them from the side. Yeah, be sure to hold them from the side. Just like the coin industry, you have to hold them from the side so that you don't put smudges and scratches on them because we're trying to get the best grades when we grade them. Okay, so uh, I, th I I know the good names to look for, but you know, see, I don't know. Like this is one of those yeah. the prism ones. Like yeah. I'll just set it aside because I'm not exactly sure what they're worth, um, but. We'll set the ones aside that could be good and then we'll send a picture to like Sean Kelly and be like, yo, which of these are worth something? They say to always put the rookies aside because you never know if they're gonna be good, you know, in the next following years. Here, open this one. Okay, here we go. Right, let's try Kieran's luck. This industry and the coin industry are strikingly similar. The fact that you can grade these cars just like you can grade coins is like right up my alley. So when I saw that connection, I said, you know what? I'll take a risk, I'll take a flyer. Let me, let me try this. Okay, so this is what they look like. So yeah, these are the base cards. Right here. So just like the typical ones. Got two there we go. We'll start to put all the boring stuff on fast forward. Don't you worry, but this is just, we're showing you how it's done. So there's our first two packs. Now yeah, guys, we have the pink uh, prism okay, pack. Let's, right that. let's keep the pink separate. So, do we want to try these last? Uh, let's do one now to show them, okay. show them what's we'll up. Them. Yeah, they're all pink from that pack. Okay, so like I was saying with the grading, um, to maximize your value, you're gonna wanna submit these for uh, grading. Now, there is one big company that does it, I mean, there's multiple companies, but the one main company is PSA. So you'll see people talk about a PSA 10. A 10 is a perfect score, and they go with whole numbers, so you can get an, a 7, 8, 9, 10. You can't get like a 9.9, .9. that doesn't exist. Whereas with coins, it's on a scale of 70. You can get a 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The big money's with the 10, so we gotta be very careful. Clay Thompson, Blake Griffin, and they got all these like MVPs and old school cards, but these aren't really worth anything, I'm pretty sure Sean, kept, Sean said, so. NBA debut. Yeah, he said to yep. keep, yeah, yeah, rookie put, card, put yeah. the, put the rookie, rookie, card rookie cards right aside. Ja, LeBron, um, Zion, Luca, you know, all those things are super hot. Yeah. See, what's cool is it's all about the luck. It's the randomness, it's the people who love basketball and they want to collect their favorite players. Right. It's the you know potential upside of hitting a home run. And it's something fun to do, you know? So that's why it's popping off like crazy. Let's see what we got here. Throw another one of these prison things. Cool. This is something like 
There were some thin, uh, LaMarcus Aldridge. This is the holographic one with like rainbow. There you got it, you guys can see it, of uh, Kevin Porter Jr. So it's a rookie card and the holographic. Okay. That could be something. Cool. We'll look up all these at the end and we'll show you completed price listings and we'll do a full breakdown of exactly what they're worth. I'll just come across a card that's like worth a bunch of money and we just don't know. Okay. Be sure to comment what you guys think about the card breaking industry, the whole explosion of sports cards once again. Do you think this is just the beginning or do you think it's a bubble? Let us know what you guys think oh, down below. LeBron. Ooh, got game. game LeBron? Anything LeBron is good. Dude, careful with that. What if it's something good? Got game? Let's like, see. All right, we'll, we'll look it up. Yeah, set that on the side. Anything LeBron? <laughs> Dude, that could be a good one. I don't know. The We're, goal, the goal is to break even on this box. Once we send some cards off for grading and, and sell yeah. them on eBay, then and that's you know. the key. Um, sending off to grading. Uh, one thing about grading, they are severely backed up right now. It's going to take months to get your cards back. It's not like it costs a lot of money on cards. It's between ten and twenty dollars. But because of the craze, they're back backlogged months. They're looking to hire graders, but they can't find enough of them. And with Corona, it's just made it even worse. But I'll definitely send the best ones off to grading because I have an account, you know, with PCGS, it's a, it's a sister oh. company. Bro, MVP, we gotta be careful. Even like you spit, people don't realize when you talk, you could be spitting out little things and they'll get on the cards. That's Bro, two MVP, LeBron. Green Mosaic LeBron. Dude, the excitement, like, we're not even like hardcore basketball people. I mean, I like basketball, but just, you get this rush. Just going through these. Oh. Bro, another oh LeBron. <laughs> that's three. Bro. That's crazy. Dude, you got the hot hand. Guys, look, we've got like all these pink prism ones as well that will open up at the ends. We're saving those. Here we go. Where's my, I need a hot card. Oh, Giannis. Right. I know anything Giannis is good too. One other cool thing is these cards will go up in value if the player does good, obviously. So a LeBron card is now worth you know, X percentage more because they just won the World Series. Right. The, the, the championship. <laughs> the NBA championship, yeah. So that's something cool too. If you think there's an underrated player, you could buy up his rookie cards and knowing that he's gonna get good in five years, you could, you know, stash up while they're cheap and, you know, reap the benefits later on, which is the speculation side of these cards. Everybody's got their own, you know, little business model. I would be about the, you know, picking out the good ones, sending them off to grading and flipping as fast as possible. Yo, Zion, I think this is big. Dude, it's a rookie. I think this is big. I think this is big. Oh, that might be that might be the one. Prism and and a rookie. Holy crap! It's in perfect condition. That'd probably be a ten. Oh crap! Dude, we should have brought gloves. And we should have. Okay, guys, two more packs, and then we got the pinks, and we have some serious could be winners over there. Oh yeah, dude. I think that Zion dude. card. I'm pretty sure that Zion's huge. It's funny because they're probably viewing like, oh my god, you know, you just found we don't, that. We have no idea. This we is probably really anticlimactic, but we'll see. Wait till the end. We're gonna look all these up and add them up. So yeah, this is how it works, guys. I recommend opening from the back and then just like that, and then grabbing them from the side and then out. Isaiah Thomas, some good old wizards. Oh, and people. guys, so check this out. You see, there's, see that defect right oh, there? Oh, perfect. So can this me? is a great example. You can see that there's damage on this card. Ooh. What happened there? Uh, something, so yeah, something that small will ruin a card's value. Yeah, like if that was a, a LeBron card or something, oh, oh that'd be so, dude, so impressive. Okay, bro. Last one. The and then last the group of packs right here. Uh, Harrison Barnes. Rodney Hood. Oh, oh, green Mosaic. Nice. Okay, I was set in the palace in case. Neon Jerry Fox, don't think that's anything. And no. Okay. Packs. If we get way more than the 500 bucks, we're gonna go buy some more boxes and do this. Like, why not? We Until we lose our money. Exactly. Okay, you get three cards per pack over here. All right, guys, I just pulled out this Tyler Hero pink mosaic card. So we think this one could be worth something. So we're done. This is the last we pack. We both got our last ones. Come on, LeBron. Wait, Luca, is he? Is that that's just in case. <laughs> All right. Well, rookie card. But time to get looking up these values. FaceTime, Sean Kelly. What's up, bro? Yeah. We just opened our box. How'd it go? I say what's up to the video. Good. Guys, this is Sean Kelly. Can I interest you in my fancy looking Zion card? That's beautiful. That's at least 300. Oh, okay. We're off to a All good right. start. We got a couple other ones. 
Okay, what do you think about these three LeBrons? Any of them good? The green one could be worth 50 to 100. Yeah, the MVP base one might be worth 10 to 20. Okay, and got games nothing fancy? Nah. Silver ones depends on the player. Here, man. Can you hold that? Kevin Porter? Okay. Yeah, that one could be worth something. Maybe 50 bucks. Tyler Hero Pink? Ooh, that's $200 right there. Oh, shoot. Okay, hey. okay, okay. We'll sleep that there one we up. Go, guys. Um, is Taco worth anything? Not yet. The debuts aren't as worth as much as the bases. What about this one? Darius Garland? Probably like five bucks. Okay, nothing crazy. Uh, and this is the wrong Luca, right? Uh, that's still a decent one. That's like $50. Oh, shoot. All right. Did well. That, that Zion paid for the whole box, I think. So we'll send a few of these off to grading. Thanks for uh, making this happen and giving us a little uh, edu education on these guys. Yeah, no problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Cool. All right, All right. thanks, bro. See ya. Thank you. Peace. Bye. Bye, guys. So the best card in the box is that Zion. Yeah, this is going to be a good one. I think it's silver. Isn't this the card? Yeah, 2019 Panini. That's Dude. it. Dude. 650. I mean, that's an asking price. Let's go to sold. Number sold. one rule with eBay you always go to sold. You click show more and you go to sold items. That's huge. Show results. I just do price highs first. Dang, if you got one of the uh, silver prism. So, of course, those are the top cards were thousands. Oh, wait, right there. Yeah, this is. Dude, what the heck? Wait, Bro. that that one's more colorful. Is Do we have the colors? Oh, wow. Dude, why did we buy sleeves? Holy crap. I forgot to order that. Yeah, no. That's it. Wow, that's the one right there, guys. We just doubled our money. Look at that. Right there, 735. Oh my god. Another one. There's 675, 660. So is there any reason we wouldn't get a 10 on this one? Any reason it wouldn't get a 10? Is that just dirt? See that little speck up there? Yeah, just get rid of it. Okay, thank god. Beautiful. Oh my god. This could have just paid for the whole box and more with one card. Tyler here, he said it's a couple hundred bucks. Wait, why don't we look that one up? Yeah, 200 bucks, 212, 224, 246. Follow the Instagram page at Team GR Business. I'll probably post what they grade there. It's gonna take a while, but like Sean said, if Zion has a killer next year or something, that card's gonna be worth even more. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it grades a 10, and then we have a six, seven hundred dollar card on our hand. We profit off just one card, plus the Tyler, plus the LeBron. Not bad. Well done. I think we made Holy like a thousand cow. bucks. That worked. Yeah, probably total value. Yeah, easily double well, our money if, if it yeah. comes back down. I hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about the economics behind breaking boxes. Part gambling, part excitement, part do your passion. If you love basketball, you know, having fun with these things, and then part investment return. If and you know even what the doing. boring ones, they're so cool. Like, look at this. It's just they're all like silver, chrome, like yeah. super cool cards. Yeah, they do so. look really cool. Everybody will agree. Panini yeah. made a really nice set. There's real money to be made if you know what you're doing with these things. But if you just want to have fun and you know, take the risk, take the gamble. I guess do what we did. Maybe we'll buy another one. We should make a video on the whole grading process and everything. And how to make a good eBay listing. Oh yeah, and then when you go to sell them on eBay, this yep. all comes full circle. You sell them on eBay, you grade them with third parties, which is what we do for coins. Everything matches. It's just with cards this time. So That's right. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you are new. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.